Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf! Just two days ago, we celebrated Easter slash Bunny Day as it's known in the world of Animal Crossing. And today, it is Earth Day as we know it in the real world, Nature Day and Animal Crossing. Why do they give these things different names? I don't know, maybe political correctness? I really, really don't know. Whoa! A lot of items. I assume these are all from Street Pass, except for this one from Rocco. What's he got? Hi, Emil. I don't really get fashion trends, but when I saw this, I just figured you need to give it a try today, buddy. Seriously, do it, Rocco. Okay. How about we uh, start the day by putting on whatever Rocco gave me? No need to show the other letters. Those are all Street Pass related. Oh, there's my mannequin, actually. And uh, what did Rocco give me to wear today? Okay, it's a shirt. I'm not going to peek at what it is. Uh, an elephant shirt. He thinks a shirt of an elephant matches me fashion-wise. You call him a fat boy! Okay, maybe he actually did mean something good by it, though, but... I don't know. It, it kind of strikes me as something that Crook would do. Maybe he put him up to it because the two of them get along kind of well. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to empty out the rest of my mail. Everything's all taken care of. My hair matches my shirt. Rocco definitely knows what he's talking about in the way of matching colors, but let's get into the real meat of today. Today is Nature Day, after all, and Isabella's in the square for some- Oh! It's actually a shirt that you can get. I think all of her shirts are, though, but she looks cool in that. It's like a very earthy shirt. Mayor, today is Nature Day. That's why I prepared a special little something to celebrate Nature Day this year. It's a piece of furniture. What could it ever be? I bet it's gonna be something good. It's a cool globe. Please take it and never forget the importance of a clean town. Aw. Well, we do have a clean town ordinance right now, and, you know, this is kind of one of those holidays where it's not really interactive, though, but you can invite your friends over, you can take a nice little picture of yourself just in this little thing, and, you know, just kind of have memories, you know. My character is kind of has a girl's hairstyle right now, so I'll take a photo there as well. But yeah, they're hugging the earth, they got flowers all around, it's a happy time. Do you have anything else to say to us, Isabel? I don't really talk to you again on these kind of events. Uh, yeah, so, see, so I hope you stay outside and explore na the town's beautiful natural surroundings. You know, that is nice and all, but, you know, I'm more of an indoorsman, I'll say that much. <laughs> okay, no, not really. I do like going outside and all that, you know, I do like going for jogs and all that stuff, so that's all fine and good, though. But, on a day like today... I feel like we should talk to the animals. We've spent a bunch of days in Palette lately, though, but we haven't really talked to the animals all that much, and I've kind of showed everything that I want to show, like, that I can really do right now, so, uh, let's stop in and see Molly. She's right there. Oh, Rocco's over there as well. I'll have to thank him for the shirt. Okay. So, what's Molly gonna say? Is she gonna have anything for us? Let's see. She is so cute. Wait, why does she have a robo lamp over there? Like, Molly, everything else in this room, like, fits together really well. Like, you're, you have, like, the one house in this village that's not hideous, and yet you put that in there? I, I don't know. Welcome to my home, Ebot. I was just sitting down to write to write a poem about a leg warmer. Uh, interesting choice. So, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, let's chat. Heard you had a wish for your birthday meal. My next LP to be a good one. Well, uh, XD is kind of done, though, so that is kind of coming up, I suppose. Even if it hasn't come true yet, I'm sure it'll happen one day soon. <laughs> Oh, Molly, if only you could know what you were actually saying. Do you happen to like what I'm wearing? It was designed by some- Guys, stop talking about the fact that you're wearing t-shirt from someone in any town. Other day I met Adriana from Ganymede. We only had a chance to chat for a little while. She seemed like a real bell pincher to me. Why is every friend that I have visit this town a bell pincher? Like, do I just hang out with really cheap people? I'm starting to come to that conclusion because that's two for two at this point. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just amused. Uh, Rocco, hey, what's up? You're the underrated guy who likes making bad puns. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'd like to chat. Today I thought I'd try something a little different and wear some flashy clothes, but... Hey, he's, he's, he's a fashionista lately. The tag is itching so bad I can hardly stand it anymore. I'm freaking out, Bulldoze. <laughs> Okay, so who knew Rocco was such a fashionista? Maybe he's giving up his art of making bad puns, realizing that I am the king of the puns around here, and that he could never hope to compete. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go do the routine stuff. You know, I'm gonna try to get all the items that I can get. I'm gonna try to do all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to animals as I see them. Oh, where you at? Shari wanted to talk. What do you got? So, Skippy, any bright ideas for the future of Palette? Well, believe it or not, I thought of something really cool. 
Well, I, I'm not sure I believe it, though, when it comes to you, but okay, that's really mean. What do you got? We totally need to fund the best wisteria trellis there is. It'd be quite the tourist attraction. I don't even know what that is. I mean, if it's possible, of course, I think I'll have a chat with Isabel. Maybe you can sleep on it? I don't even know what a wisteria trellis is. Like, I don't know what either of those words mean, much less what they mean put together. So, uh, I wish I could go talk to Isabel over at Town Hall and find out exactly what that is. Yeah, I fall into a pit. But unfortunately, I can't because she is in the plaza. Uh, anyway, uh, about that uh, pitfall I just fell in, there is actually a really, really cool tip that you guys pointed out to me that I uh, looked into, and sure enough, it is true. Um, a pitfall will only spawn in your town once a day if you don't already have a pitfall planted in the ground. Meaning that you can just plant a pitfall off in the corner somewhere, or just in some place you don't typically walk on, and you don't have to worry about a thing. Oh, uh, what's up, Crook? Uh, Crook, you look like a housewife wearing that. Like, seriously. Like, you know, you can be a jerk to me, I can be a jerk to you back. Okay. You have a minute to talk? Okay, so the other day I went ahead and made a time capsule. Yeah, I know it didn't say what's up my news. Don't give me that look, I've got hobbies. Well, because it's weird for me to bury it, I just love that this is unburied stuff, but I think it's kind of a waste of time to leave the project halfway done. Um, come on, old dog. Yeah, he's calling me old dog now. I'm, uh. Yes, I will bury your silly little time capsule, you silly little old man frog. Okay, yes. So it is in your letters. Technically, I could take a peek at it, but usually they show you what it says once the time capsule is over, though, so I will have fun laughing at Crocs' innermost secrets when the time comes. Let's see. Uh, yes, I want to bury you. And then let's talk to him again, because uh, I'm sure you guys all want to see Crook insult me and the fact that I've... You know what? That, aside from that actually not bad letter the other day, I'm not kidding. To this day, I have yet to have one pleasant conversation with Crook. And the funny thing is that whenever I have people over to visit, like whenever I like my friends want to come see Pallet, I... They have perfectly fine conversations with it's weird. Lately, like, the feeling is a lot of trash. And there's less trash and fewer weeds, yeah? Fewer what the flowers do. Is it because of that key Pallet Beautiful Ordinance that you enacted? Well, it makes town look pretty stinking nice. Gahaha. ha Okay, that one wasn't too bad, though, but I kind of felt an air of sarcasm in what he was saying, so I don't know. By the way, I really have to organize my flowers. This town is getting, like, overgrown, and, like, I really need to organize them. Uh, I could probably stand to, like, take a few of the flowers out of town and just kind of sell them and that kind of thing. Uh, Chester is not home. I think I've gone around and dug up everything now. Uh, we have this Japanese town hall here, and we have the Japanese police station over there. So, I was thinking that those bamboo... That bamboo seed that we got the other day, I thought I'd plant it around here. You can see what it looks like as it's growing. Now, you can um, still chop these with an axe. You can, you know, dig them up, though. But it hasn't really gotten the chance to grow that tall yet. I haven't really gotten the chance to show you guys what bamboo is all about, though. But I just thought I would show you, like, progress and how much that's grown. Then that's where I decided to plant it. Uh, now, I think we've talked to all the animals that I could find around town. We've done the morning routine, or rather afternoon routine at this point. Uh, let's see what's on the bulletin board. Uh... Thanks to very clever business, we've we've received a very fine plate armor. Uh, okay. Makes it sound like they're like fortifying their castle. And you know what? Speaking of castle, I think that's what I want to do next. I would like to customize the exterior of my house because two days ago I asked you guys what I should do and why, and you know, there were some clever answers, there were some weird answers, but I think I've decided now. Let me go withdraw the cash for that. I'm gonna be broke after this. Well, it just so happens Nook has the winning one that I was going to be announcing soon. Okay, so, uh, an honorable mention that I like to bring up is Adi Suazo, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Adi Suazo on uh, Facebook, who said, do Zen because some stat states in Japan, Zen is money, and well, you'll have lots of bells. Get the pun? I like this one, but I do like another side of this. That's the fact that, like, you know, pagodas have, like, bells on them, and this is gonna cost a lot of bells to make. <laughs> so I do like that one. Another runner-up is that I should pick the castle because Pietro would like it. I mean, what sheep doesn't like the castle courtyard? Yeah, he's not the court jester or anything like that being all rainbow-colored. He's totally a sheep. Uh, but... The one that was very, very common, and I flat out cannot argue any reason being better, was first suggested by Kreesak, or Silence, on Twitter, who says, The castle because you're a pretty princess, or well, you used to be. A lot of your guys' posts were about the fact that I want the princess series of furniture, or the fact that I had the peach dress, and well... I can't argue anything. That flat out is the best reason to go with that, especially because I like the princess series. In fact, I mean, considering making the princess series my main room and kind of shoving the gold off to the back. So, yeah, I'll buy Nook. There we go. So I'll make all the arrangements and everything will be completed tomorrow. Yeah, he is going to turn my house into a castle. 
with me sleeping inside of it. And he won't wake me up at all. Nook is very stealthy. You, you don't believe me, though, but he is one stealthy raccoon. <laughs> all right. So, uh, I don't really have anything else that I want to do for the day that I haven't gone over already, though. So I think I'm going to sink the town in the Dream Suite. I'll admit I've been slacking on that lately. I swear it hasn't been me. It's just that I've been traveling lately, and it hasn't been easy to do this, because... Because hotel internet, quite frankly, is freaking weak. How can anyone ever accomplish anything on it? Anyway, let's head home now. And check it out! The princess room is coming along quite well. I also have an item from the Gorgeous series. I kind of wish I had the carpet and wallpaper for the princess series, though, but man, I am, like, flat broke after turning my home into a castle. I want to move all this stuff into the main room just because, you know, it's bigger there, and I want to really work on this. Plus, I don't have nearly all the gold furniture series, though, so I kind of feel like that's good. Unfortunately, that means that my mush bed is probably going to be getting the shaft pretty soon. Uh, now... Something that I'd like to go over that I actually did not know. For whatever reason, I thought this was confined to the first Animal Crossing game, but it is true in this one as well. Is that I am not getting a single Happy Home Academy point from having this complete egg series in my basement. I knew that they didn't grade the basement in the original game, but I didn't know that that carried over into the sequels. For whatever reason, I just assumed that it, you know, was only like that in the original. So for that reason... I feel like I should move the street pass room downstairs. I know the street pass room hasn't really had a whole lot of progress, though, but, you know, I just kind of have been working on other things lately. And I would like to, you know, make the street pass room a thing before the end of the series and all that, though. It's just that I haven't been personally working on it all that much, though. So I'm going to move this downstairs, and I'm going to move the egg furniture in here. Of course, that means I'm going to have to pay off another loan to Mr. Nook because this room is freaking tiny, but hey. Actually, no. I could move the egg series into the back, which is moderate-sized. And then I can move the gold furniture in here because I barely have any of it. Yeah. It's going to be one heck of an undertaking. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't have a bed in there, so... I think in honor of us getting a castle and, you know, all that good stuff, I think I will sleep in my... Well, no. I was going to say I'll sleep in my princess room, though, but... I really should sleep in here. Because this is probably going to be the last time that I ever sleep in that mush bed, and I've been sleeping in that since around the time we moved to Pallet. So, I think I'll do just that. Oh, wait, no, I can't do that yet. What the heck am I saying? I haven't shown you guys the cool globe yet. I can't believe I was about to end off the video before I even showed that. <laughs> uh, I would have gotten so many comments from you guys in, like, God, oh, you don't remember anything. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that is cool. Well, it is a cool globe, though, so obviously it would be, though, but... That is really cool. I've been thinking about doing like a pirate themed room. Like one idea that I had was maybe like um, do like a dual theme room where I have the gold series and the pirate series, you know, because pirates like gold. And this would fit right in with the pirate furniture. That'd be awesome. I'm just actually thinking of doing that now. <laughs> anyway, I don't mean to delay things any further. So what are we going to miss between now and our next meeting? Absolutely nothing, because our next meeting is just three days from today. April 25th is Weeding Day. I should mention that if you're watching this on some later year, or if you find this video and you're some kind of alien civilization who wants to start playing Animal Crossing to learn the ways of our incredibly nerdy folk, Weeding Day is the last Friday in April. I'm sure you have a way of figuring out what that is if you're an alien civilization, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it's not the same day every year, it's the last Friday in April, just so you know. Anyway, next time on Animal Crossing New Leaf, we're going to be pulling weeds all over town. Or not, because we have a beautiful town. But I'm sure I'll find some way to cover both sides of it. See you guys then.